we wanted to do Forge for five, we really wanted to go nuts with it, using the, this new power that we have with the Xbox One. But how can we make it so that they can build a ton of stuff and fast and easy? And that's really where our goal was to start from there. We proved it and built an internal version of basically a, a recreation of Blood Gulch. And then we still were like, okay, we need to build more of these, but we want to test Forge more too. So let's bring in like some of the best community members. We call them cartographers, five people who have been playing Forge since Forge was around to start playing with. And we have been having them make big team battle maps. These guys are spending a whole week here with us and they're doing things that would have taken them four days to do in like a couple minutes now. They're gonna be asking us how we're enjoying the new tool set. What can we do to make these better? What kind of DLC projects would you like? This is a completely new relationship. Really, most of the stuff that we have always been asking for is in the game now. This forge is insane. Lighting, which we can do in interior spaces. The ability to group items together. Appropriating colors to our objects. I made my entire base on one side of the map, grouped the whole thing together, shifted it, and then moved it across the map. And that was it. You can place a 50 warthogs if you want down on the map. Now that may cause some issues, but you can if you want to. It's almost astonishing how fast they built things every day. And like everybody walks in and like, how fast did they build this? And they're sometimes they're like, oh, sorry, I'm building so slow. And I'm like, no, you're, you're cranking right now. You're totally fine. It's definitely, it's a very complicated map, but uh, I think it's cool because it really has a lot of vertical gameplay, and I think that'll play well with some of the uh, new Spartan abilities in Halo 5. Uh, I called this antifreeze because it was originally supposed to be based on an avalanche slash sidewinder, which originally was uh, built within a snow type of canvas, and it turned out nothing like it. I am working on a reimagination of Longbow, which was a really cool map from Halo 4. And, uh, we're adding in this massive vehicle circuit to balance travel time between players on foot and people on the hog. Of course, put the ribs somewhere from burial mounds because that's a very iconic burial mounds thing. I'm probably going to put it somewhere over here. It, it's been very, very fast. Once we start foraging, like, it's just we're in the zone. 20 hours go past in 10 minutes. You can set it up so that the natural terrain matches a path you want. Like you might want one of these paths to point directly to a door. You just move it over and there it is. It's a beautiful feature. The challenge is actually what I really enjoy. Think of lines of sight, spawning, balance. So everything that you create is not just for a specific area, or it doesn't fit into just one idea. It has to be inset within five other parameters. Our actual arena team guys giving them direct feedback on their maps, and we go and we have play tests in our play test lab like we do on all of our other maps. They're getting kind of the same treatment that we actually do with our internal maps. Having a map ready for play test for the executives and the pro players to come check out your map in like three days, and that's just, that's definitely not something that we're, that we're used to at all. With the plans they have to sustain the project and incorporate more community feedback as we go through is fantastic. We really did not expect this. We were just blown away with the new features. We have a bunch of work to do on the back end of them, but having these really solid foundations and them like really finding their vision and their voice in the maps really will help us deliver better maps for the community in the long run. Get the Xbox One Limited Edition Bundle.